Hey guys, we're for here back with more Belladonna, and this is Belladonna. We found Belladonna. We wound her, wound her up. Though I'm still not sure how her key was in a locked box when she was on the bed and can't wind up herself and stuff. And we're apparently Clara Steiner. Um, at least the view is nice from up here. Uh, it seems. Uh, and now we have to find clockwork, a head, and a brain, so we can use. Wolfram's press Wolfram's body to make more of us or something like that. There's one journal. We have all the journal pages except this special special thingy here. Uh that we have to find somehow. Uh so cool. And we will go find <laughs> we're gonna go to the mausoleum and take this lovely lady's cranium. And the cat's still dead. Alright, so we have a body here, uh, clockwork parts here, grandfather clock. See? I see a lot of mechanical parts in there. I need to get them out somehow. Uh, screwdriver? This faithful screwdriver will do the trick. Yes! Time to turn this old clock into a slightly peculiar wardrobe. Lol. <laughs> okay, we have clockwork. Check. Now we need to get into the mausoleum and get a skull. Move it, Clara. Move it, Clara. It's so cool that we're Clara and not Belladonna. That was... I don't know, that was cool in a way. I, I like the story. It's, it's cute. Well. So this is our grave. Hey, grave. Oh, she's not even gonna say anything about her own grave. Aww. Okay, mausoleum. Hello. What a marvelous mausoleum. Oh, I forgot. The plaque says Francisca Canosa. This must be the resting place of the lady from the portrait in the study. I forgot there was a secret way in there behind Roland in the basement. So we have to go and say hi to Roland. And we need a brain. Oh, there was a brain in the jar in the laboratory, which is baby Lucas's brain, apparently. Okay. All right. My body. Uh, basement. More basement. More basement. All right, Clara. Go and say hi to Roland. Hi, Roland. Belladonna was right. There is a secret switch behind Roland the poet. Aw. Thank you, Roland. It's too dark down there. I won't see my hands in front of me unless I light the crypt up first. I have a lantern. I can't just drop the lantern into the hole. It's gonna break when it hits the bottom. If there is a bottom. All this logic. I'll just tie this rope to the lantern. Awesome. Lantern on rope. Yes. I can lower the lantern into the hole. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Roland. Amazing. I must be directly underneath the mausoleum in the cemetery. Presumably. Ooh, journal page. I can't believe it. It's another letter. How did it end up down here? It's Clara Stieber! We wrote this! Oh, okay. After insistent probing from my Lady Belladonna, I too take to the pen come evening. This scribbling does not come as readily for me as it does for her, yet I do most certainly see the appeal in the activity. So much has happened in my life of late, my brain is overflowing with joy and secrets and disorder, and if I manage to write on a map of but a fraction of it all, that would be an enormous relief. Un enormous. It says a enormous, but oh. Verily, verily, if all centers around Belladonna. Oh, sorry. Verily, it all centers around Belladonna, this queen regnant of the castle, who has turned her benevolent face towards me, and thus filled my person with happiness I had previously thought unimaginable. I still remember the first time I saw her, standing next to her husband, when I took up work in the household, and I remember seeing how she seemed to me to glow. 
the two of them lost a child a shortly after that. A shorty after that? Shortly after that, I'm presuming. Lost a child, child shortly after that. And the tragedy... Oh, no, it says shortly. Sorry, it says shortly. Okay. Um, would linger... And the tragedy would linger in the castle for a long time. All the other servants started to leave one by one, but as much as I wanted to, I found myself unable. I kept postponing my departure with each new day, and I found myself dancing around Baladonna's flame, drawn to it as strongly as I'd been from that first glance. By the time she finally recovered from her melancholy, I was the only one left in the castle, and it was at this time the miracle happened, and Baladonna saw me in a new way. This temptuous affair, galloping and world-shaking, and yet so quiet, so hidden. The castle is ours to rule as we please, but only as long as we do not arouse the suspicion of the grave robbing goblin in the basement. It is as though I have stepped into one of the fairy stories my god grandmother used to tell. But Nana's stories always ended with someone losing their head or being eaten alive. Though seemingly everlasting, this bliss of ours, I see a seed of doubt is growing in my heart. Belladonna is married, after all, and who, ma who am I to break their wedlock? Theirs is not a happy union, true, but I am seducing my love to break her vows and soil her soul, and what wretched ruin will that bring upon us? For a long while, Belladonna was all I dreamt about, my queen and goddess, and my deepest wish was for her to let me into her life and let me worship her. I thought I would give up anything for that. But now that I am here, I wonder if I have sacrificed too much. Belladonna comes from high society, and she doesn't realize just how much she takes for granted. It is still clear who is the lady and who is the servant. Can I keep on living like this, or will I have to do the unthinkable and leave her? I made Belladonna promise not to read anything I wrote, and looking at what I have just put down in the ink, the weight of that promise is clear. I have forged into words thoughts I did not know I had and it's vital that these pages remain secluded from prying eyes. Secrets upon secrets! I shall hide this letter inside the old armor in the basement, whom I call Rudolf the Bard, where I doubt anyone will find it. No! It's not Rudolf! I'm descending into that dungeon as soon as I'm done here, and I'll hide this note in my way, as the master has asked me to fetch for him a certain plant from the greenhouse. As strange as this whole situation is, I must still obey his requests, if only to keep up appearances. Yeah, he kind of killed you with that plant, though, Clara. So, hey, hello, sarcophagus. Here's Francisca's coffin, but the lid is much too heavy for me to lift. Maybe I could break it open, but I'll need some sort of big hammer or mace for that. Another angel. Are you the third sibling? What did you do to get put down here? Is your name Gwendolyn? <laughs> we have this candlestick. Good work. Things one does for love. Oh, that scared me. You look very peaceful, but I do so need your head. How shall I remove it? With some surgical tool from the laboratory, perhaps? That could work. Well, I do have this bone saw. We could try. Sorry, Francisca. Now to carefully remove the head. It's remarkably well preserved. Whoop. I'm so sorry. Another angel. Are you the third sibling? What did you do to get put down here? Is your name Gwen? I suppose I clicked, I'm so it was. So sorry. Uh alright. There isn't really much more to do. Click on, so up we go, I guess. Um, why is there blood here? Looks like Belladonna's dragged the body down to the laboratory already. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Alright. Brain? The body of a deranged murderer, the decomposed head of an old lady, the brain of a small child. How could this possibly go wrong? In every single possible way, maybe? Hello. Don't you worry, little pile of flesh and bones. We'll soon have you up and walking again. Whoa. 
welcome to the Lab of Horrors. Indeed. I have Francesca's head. Well done. Just give it to me and I will attach it to the neck. I took some parts from the old clock. Well done. Let me put them into the creation. I have the brain. Well done. Please give it to me. Oh, should we say this? Oh, let's go. I found something else in the crypt. Another note. One I'd written myself when I was alive. I think we need to talk. What is the matter, dear? It's just... I... Forget it. It doesn't matter. Let's focus on what we're doing here. Yes, let's get this creation moving. Okay. I'll get going. Get going with what? Oh! Okay. Thank you, dear. Oh, dear. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. The creation is complete. All we need to do now is force life into these dead limbs. Awesome. A big switch on the wall initiates the procedure. Will you have the honor, my dear? Gladly. Sure! This seems safe. Time has come. I've wanted to pull this thing since the first time I saw it. True. of them and Clara got a new dress <laughs> um, I'm sure this is awesome for the world <laughs> oh, the cat <laughs> the cat oh dear there you go Game by Nicola Salin. Tess Baines did all the voices and Michael Chait did the music. Um, alright. So I don't know where it would put me if I loaded game, but it doesn't really matter. So that was Belladonna. Still fascinated by the beautiful logo. Um I thought it was awesome. I enjoyed everything about it. I thought the story was so cool. I was just- that vibe was... I don't know, I just... I loved it just as much as I thought I would. <laughs> My excitement was... felt I was spot on. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. So... I hope we can all... <laughs> hope it gets green-lighted on Steam so, uh, you know, everyone else can uh, enjoy it too and stuff and... I will say that, especially from my perspective, as we're recording this, um, the music is really sort of loud, and I wish the voices could have been a little louder and the music a little less loud, maybe. But um, I mean, there are no, as you can see, there are no options. There is, it is what it is. Um, and uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I had the game crash once, I'm not entirely sure what I did there. Weird, but anyway, so there was no bugs or anything, at least. Um, sometimes it didn't move, but I just clicked somewhere else and it was fine, so... But yeah, I thought it was like the story was well written. I mean, yeah, it's a lot to read, obviously, but I thought it was awesome. I like that, so... I'm okay, and... Yeah, I thought it was really cool. I like the ending, how they just succeed, and, like, the world is overrun by, like, like mechanical dead people. It's like, okay! So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys Guys? Sorry, I can... Bleh. Okay. <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed this game, too. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. And for, you know, enjoying the game. And, um, I hope all will go well for it. And... I'll see you all for some other cool games, so uh, take care and bye bye